All right, so now we're going to look at frictional forces on screws. And these are kind of like wedges. You can kind of think of like a screw as like a wedge wrapped around something or other. So we've got ourselves a screw coming up like this. And I'm going to talk a little bit about the vocabulary of it right quick. Um, so screw looks like this, right? Now, the distance from the center to the outside, we'll just talk about this as being R. That's the, the radius of the screw. Um, any part from here, from a top to a top, for example, we're going to call that the L or the lead. Um, we have also called it the pitch in other classes, lead or pitch. So it doesn't really matter where you take it from. You could take it from center to center. That's the lead. Um, you could take it from bottom to bottom. That's the lead. Just basically how high up are you going to go in, a, in one revolution. So you've got the lead or pitch, and um, and so we're going to take a look at that. So let's pick two arbitrary points here. Let's pick this point here and this point here, so a center top and a center top. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this section all the way up to here. So this is the rounded out part, and, um, and I'm basically going to unravel that. So I've got this part, kind of try to line it up a little bit. Um, so we're going to go up to here, and then we're going to go up to, to here. So <clears throat> here we go. Come on. I'll try to make this straight. Um, this guy's going to go to here, this guy's going to go to about there, and uh, I'll just finish that. Okay. That was me trying to make it pretty, it didn't do a very good job. But basically I just took this area and I wound it up off like this. Now, the reason we did this is I want to talk about this angle right here. And this angle right here is called the lead angle. Or the pitch angle and that's going to control how many revolutions you have going around the screw right it's, you know based on how long the screw is and if that lead angle is big you can only go around a, a smaller number of times than if you have a small lead angle so what we're going to do is come up with an equation to describe what that lead angle is because we actually have all the math that, all the numbers that we need so we established that say from here to here from here to here, that's the same lead, right? That's the lead going up. Yes, right? Because from any two points, they are the same part of the revolution. Come back. Um, that's going to be the lead. So that's the same two points that I try to draw out and get them all straight. So that's the lead. So this is the lead. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to focus in on this triangle, right triangle, recognizing that this angle here is again the theta that I'm looking for. So I've got that. Now I just need to find the distance from here to here. And that's not too bad because if I think about it as being wound, really what that distance is is the circumference of that screw. So 2 pi r. Now it's a reasonably straightforward task to write an equation for theta being opposite over adjacent. So now we've got two formulas for our for things that we can use for, for screws, um, just like we we use for everything else that we're doing with friction. Um, we've got this dealing with screws, and we're also going to use this that we've discovered previously, um, the coefficient of of static friction related to the angle of static friction and then the lead angle. So this is the equation for the lead angle. So usually in a screw you're going to be given the pitch and the radius and from that you can calculate the lead angle. And we'll be using that going forward.